Now, most of us associate Tourette syndrome, you can hear my next guest already, with the shouting out of inappropriate things mid-sentence. And yes, my next guest does, as you're hearing there, say the word biscuit 900 biscuit. times an hour. But her disability has uh, many other more profound effects on her life as well. On the other hand, that doesn't mean that she can't laugh at it too. Please welcome Jess Tom. Hi. So the first thing people are going to notice is that as well as, as, well as the Biscuit. verbal tics, there's a lot of motor tics. Biscuit, yes. You're hitting yourself quite yeah. a lot and, and so that. So it's just Biscuit. explain to us that the motor tics are the thing Biscuit. that probably affect you much more in a way, Biscuit. aren't they? Yeah, I mean, Tourette's, Biscuit, Tourette's syndrome is a neurological condition, Biscuit, and it's known about because of the vocal tics, Biscuit. But as well as vocal tics, everybody who has Tourette's, Biscuit also has Biscuit, motor tics, Biscuit. For me, Biscuit, they include... Um, hitting myself in the chest, biscuit, moving my biscuit legs, biscuit in ways that affect my mobility, biscuit. And biscuit, although I'm having biscuit ticks all the time now, sometimes they intensify biscuit several times a day to a point where I lose biscuit complete control of my body and often my speech, biscuit. And it looks like I'm having a seizure, but it is just related to direct biscuit. But that could happen tonight. I'm hoping it won't, biscuit. Okay. <laughs> biscuit. But if it does, then yeah. I have a support worker who'll come and help me, biscuit. But, okay, um, and what I, am I going to do? Biscuit, you're going to have to do something. I don't have another guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know you've You're no control, but please. <laughs> so listen, they, they, okay, they're hitting yourself, which is great, obviously, at the moment. Yeah. The, the gloves are obviously to help that from hurting your hand. Biscuit. Is it hurting your chest? Biscuit. Yeah, Biscuit. Um, actually, my chest is fairly robust, Biscuit, for the first um, three months or so, Biscuit, that I was doing that. Biscuit, that tick's been with me for a long time. My How chest long? was uh, about three or four years, Biscuit. My chest was bruised and sort of battered and a bit bloody, Biscuit. Um, and then after about three months, Biscuit, it's like it just gave up and said, Biscuit, I'm tired of that. And since then, it's been perfect. And now I have a nice smooth lump. But, yeah, nothing else, Biscuit. But my hands wear out. And are you doing it that much all the time? Biscuit, yeah? Biscuit, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty constant. OK, yeah. now you, I, people will Hurt. notice as well you're biscuit. wearing knee pads. Knee pads, yeah. My Biscuit, my walking is chaotic, Biscuit. OK. Um, so I drop to the floor a lot, Biscuit, and my... Um, my uh, biscuit and my ankles move quite a lot. So biscuit, um, I, some, I often use a wheelchair biscuit for longer journeys, biscuit. But for general biscuit, getting around biscuit, knee pads are the best solution. Because okay, if I drop to the floor, there's a nice thud, but it doesn't. Perfect. It doesn't hurt okay. <laughs> as much. It's, it, it, it must Disco. be exhausting, is it? Um, yeah, it can be. It can be exhausting biscuit. But although there's lots of challenges with Tourette's biscuit, there are also things that about it that are interesting biscuit and uh, funny, and yeah. that's one of the things that I'm sort of try and concentrate on as well as the, the yeah, more Yeah, because you've written bits. this lovely book, Biscuit. Welcome to Biscuit Land. Hedgehog, Biscuit. And, and, and it's, it's based on, on, on your blog, Disco. Tourette's Hero. And, and the book is actually very Hedgehog. funny as, as, as well as Hedgehog. everything else. No. OK, can I ask you... The donkey. Biscuit, biscuit, right? Donkey. Is, d d donkey, <laughs> like I haven't Hedgehog. heard yet. So, <laughs> so biscuit. Like biscuit. We should explain to people it's not, it's not that you want a, a biscuit. No, I'm not hungry. I'm fine. Biscuit. And you, and you, <laughs> you actually don't like biscuits that much? I don't, I'm, not, I, I'm not fussed about biscuits. I enjoy the odd biscuit, biscuit, but I, don't, I definitely don't think about biscuits as much as I um, talk about them. Biscuit. For ages, I had a regular tick that, tick that was um, sellotape, and I really didn't care about sellotape that okay. much. Either. Anything biscuit I've ever known or experienced biscuit has the potential to become a tick biscuit and I have no control over what that would be biscuit um, and biscuit just randomly showed up about four years ago and has been biscuit bi biscuit been with me fairly regularly ever since Hedgehog. and the thing is a lot of the Hedgehog. ticks though um, are Lucky they, they, they can be more biscuit. they can be more um, elaborate than yeah. that some of them are quite poetic Hedgehog. some of them are quite funny and everything yeah. but they're not like things Her. coming through from your subconscious as such. They're, they're, it's not you saying what's really on biscuit. your mind or anything. Or For me, biscuit, lots of people simplify Tourette's and say, oh, it's Tourette's is people saying what they're thinking. Biscuit. And while some ticks, biscuit, are potentially in context, like biscuit, and are triggered by environmental factors, like biscuit, um, like I don't get my own cash out because I shout my PIN number. Biscuit. Um, really? Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> biscuit. But, um, biscuit. Biscuit. Ha! Ah, but lots, but lots of the ticks, biscuit. Most of the, the majority of ticks, biscuit, are biscuit things that I'm not thinking about, biscuit, or things that I've never thought about, you know, particularly deeply, biscuit. Some things I've ticked that I've then had to look up um, on the internet to even find out what they mean, biscuit. Really, I didn't yeah. know what I, biscuit. I didn't know what a marmoset was until I started saying it randomly hundreds of times a day, biscuit. 
But clearly, marmoset had got into your yeah, head, the, head, head there somewhere. So, so like, the, the, there's no real explanation for no, it in a way. But, but some of what comes out is quite creative biscuit, and quite kind biscuit. of yeah, biscuit and Tourette's Hero, um, Tourette'sHero.com, which is my website, which we aim to celebrate and share the sort of creativity and humour of biscuit of the things that get said as a result of text biscuit, and we make them available um, to for people to. Uh, browse and make artwork in response to. So we've got a whole gallery of tick-inspired artwork because lots of them are very visual um, and and surreal. Biscuit hedgehog. Um, so yeah, if um, there's all sorts of things that get said and lots of biscuit, lots of things that you would never normally put together. Biscuit um, and they exist only because of my slightly unusual neurology. Yeah. Biscuit. Hedgehog. I know. I know as well that that not not everybody um, who that. has not everyone who has Tourette's actually um, shouts out um, ob obscenities Biscuit. and stuff. There's, there's that, that's a small percentage Biscuit. of them, isn't it? But you you're quite, uh, seem to be quite clean so far, Biscuit. are you? Disco. Are um, Biscuit. Um, one of the big myths about yeah. Tourette's, Biscuit, is that, um, is that it's about swearing. Biscuit, people yeah. with Tourette's, it's the swearing disease. Biscuit, 90% um, of people with Tourette's, Biscuit, don't have any swearing ticks at all. Biscuit, 10% of people, and I'm one of those 10%, Biscuit, do have... Um, some biscuit, some swearing ticks, biscuit. But even for me, that's a, a relatively small proportion of biscuit of the things I say involuntarily, biscuit. Okay. Um, it's really important that that myth is challenged because yeah. I think for biscuit, for families and for children growing up with Tourette's biscuit, it can be a big barrier to getting help. Biscuit, I've heard lots of families describe biscuit, um, you know, explaining to the school or even their, even members of their own family, Biscuit, that their child um, has Tourette's and people go, oh, well, I've never heard him. I've never heard him swear, so he can't no. have Tourette's. Biscuit, Biscuit. Tourette's you, you, is Biscuit. You, you didn't get your diagnosis Hedgehog. for quite late, did you? No, Biscuit. I was an adult Biscuit when I was diagnosed. Biscuit, when I was um, Biscuit younger, I had ticks from about the age of six, Biscuit, but they were much milder, Biscuit, and um, uh, I also had lots of unusual behaviour, Biscuit. I used to do things, Biscuit, very impulsive things, like run at closed doors or shout out the answers, um, Biscuit in class, Biscuit, and I had sort of small motor and vocal text, Biscuit, but in my early 20s, Biscuit, they become to have, they got much worse and became, began to have a much more severe impact on my, on my life. Biscuit. And, the, and the impact Hedgehog. on your life, Jess, oh. is like, it, it is Hedgehog. quite severe, like this is a serious disability that does kind of, you know, can affect your life in lots of ways. For, for example, I suppose the first Hedgehog. thing, a lot of people are probably thinking, it was one of the first things I was thinking, Hedgehog. when you go to sleep, is there any kind of a let up in this? Biscuit. There is, Biscuit. There hasn't always been. Sometimes I, Biscuit, sometimes um, I've definitely gone through phases where I've still ticked a lot in my sleep, Biscuit, and my sleep has been very disruptive, Biscuit, and I disrupted, and I've been, um, Biscuit, woken up, shouting out, or, um, Biscuit, things are better for me now, Biscuit, but I do still tick in my sleep, although if I'm properly deeply asleep, it is, it's much better than it is. And it's quite Hedgehog. exhausting then, like, if you're not sleeping Hedgehog. properly, Biscuit. and you're in constant motion uh, and stuff, it, it, are you physically... Biscuit. Like. Um, biscuit. I think it is physically exhausting, but I think like most things, biscuit, you sort of get used to them and you acclimatise. Biscuit. I actually like doing other types of exercise, like swimming, because I like the feeling of feeling tired for a completely different reason other than just ticking. Biscuit. Yeah, yeah. So, this and listen, you have you, your your oh. your care so, worker Matthew is here with you. So now, from the book, biscuit. you strike me as a very independent kind of person. Biscuit. But do you need a care worker biscuit. like all the time? Yes. Biscuit. Um, at the moment, Biscuit, because of the, the sort of ticking fits, the intensification, Biscuit of the ticks suddenly in any 24 hour period, and that can happen when I'm asleep or when I'm awake, Biscuit, um, I do, Biscuit at the moment needs somebody with me all the time, Biscuit, and I think, Biscuit, that's been one of the hardest things for me to um, accept, Biscuit, um, imagine, yeah. is the sort of um, managing that level of support from somebody biscuit but i have an amazing network of friends and families and support workers who are very sensitive in how they support me yeah biscuit. and you do you i can tell from the book you've a great tight family biscuit. and friends there who really do Hedgehog. look, look after you without making Disco. you feel Disco. in any way yeah, you know, uncomfortable about it and stuff. Biscuit. And you work as well. Yeah, I work full time. Biscuit. I think the thing with independence is independence is biscuit. I used to think being independent meant doing everything for yourself and i think biscuit the big Thing that I've realised, Biscuit, is independence is about being in control and making decisions, Biscuit, and it doesn't mean I have to pour my own cup of tea because that just gets 
very messy. <laughs> oh God, yeah, that can be dangerous. <laughs> and dangerous, yeah. 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 So yeah, I work full time, Biscuit. I work for a children's project in London, Biscuit, um, and I'm able to do all those things because of the fantastic support I have. And in terms of then, um, you, I, you, you, you have that, that so, great tight network of friends you detail in your book. There's left wing idiot listen, and fat sister and all these fat people. Fat sister. Are, 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 are. My sister's but not that it, fat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hedgehog, Biscuit, Biscuit. It, is it, difficult to, to, is it difficult to make friends? Is it difficult, like, for example, biscuit. to have a relationship with somebody and stuff? To... Biscuit, I think it's... The, the biscuit, I mean, I'm single, Biscuit, but I don't think I'm single because I have Tourette's, Biscuit, but I do think, Biscuit, there's, it adds extra practical challenges, logistical challenges, um, Biscuit, and uh, I think it can, it, you know, perhaps somebody, Biscuit, somebody would need a little bit more vision um, to find someone sexy who shouted Biscuit as much as I do. <laughs> <laughs> biscuit, hedgehog. Biscuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hedgehog. But I don't think it's not possible. <laughs> yeah. Biscuit, um, biscuit. Okay. Definitely. And then what about, people, what about people outside of your circle and stuff like that? Like Because they, presumably if you're on the bus or out and about, biscuit. people might not know straight away you have to... How do people react to you? I have a whole... There's a whole mix of reactions. Biscuit. Yeah. Um, and I... Biscuit. I think that's one of the things about Tourette's that makes, makes it challenging, Biscuit, is it's an unpredictable condition, Biscuit, and reactions to it. Uh, biscuit, hedgehog, equally, uh, equally unpredictable. So I know I'm going to say Biscuit a lot um, every day, but I don't, and I know that people respond to that in different ways, but I don't, don't, I, don't I can't predict how that, how that yeah. will be, Biscuit. But I have amazing, Biscuit, spontaneous support from strangers. I've had, you know, incredible acts of kindness, Biscuit, um, and also things that have been very difficult and challenging and have been upsetting. Yeah. And I think, Biscuit, some people, um, Biscuit, some people react because they're nervous or they're frightened, Biscuit, or because they find, Biscuit, just the fact that somebody's moving differently funny, Biscuit. Um, there is lots of humour to be from, from ha having Tourette's. There's some of the ticks are funny, Biscuit, some yeah. of the experiences are funny, but Tourette's in itself isn't that funny, Biscuit. Um, so where is the, where is the line? Because I'd imagine it's difficult for people for to know. I mean, the audience laughed a, a couple of times there, but they kind of seemed to laugh with you, but they Biscuit. did it. They laughed a bit nervously. It was biscuit. maybe the, at the time a tick Hedgehog. came was opportune biscuit. or something. But there, there must ha be a fine line there between someone who's biscuit. laughing at you for uh, your condition and someone able to biscuit. kind of roll in and enjoy what's going on biscuit. and laughing Hedgehog. with you. Am I making that sense? There is a fine line, Biscuit, but I think it's one that's clear to most people and I think it's definitely one that I can feel very clearly, Biscuit. Um, I don't think there's ever been a, a time where I've been in any doubt about whether somebody's sharing the joke with me or laughing uh -huh. at me, Biscuit. Um, I think, the, I think sometimes people think it's a final line. I think you feel it if you're in a room, biscuit or... But um, Hedgehog, the whole idea about Tourette's Hero is to celebrate the humour um, yeah. that is there, but to celebrate the humour of the things that get said and the biscuit, the strange and surreal experiences that happen because I have Tourette's, not Tourette's as a condition, biscuit. Yeah. Um, and I think humour and laughter is a really important way of engaging people and getting people to think about something that they might not have thought about before um, yeah. and to think differently about it. But biscuit, because people knowing biscuit more about Tourette's biscuit and having a better understanding of it. Biscuit, hedgehog has a tangible difference to, in my day to day sort of quality of life and the way people respond to me. Hedgehog. Yeah, and look, I think ha, even, even meeting you briefly there, I feel I ha, kind of understand a lot more about it. And certainly biscuit. having read the book, yeah. um, it, you know, it's, it's gone from just having a kind of a stereotype about it hedgehog. to understanding it in, in much more biscuit. detail. Uh, it's been fantastic biscuit. talking. I hope I Hedgehog. meet you again. Ladies and gentlemen, Jess Tom. Biscuit. Hedgehog. 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 H